Hi, I am Vasudha Kadri, Consult Dietitian at Uday Omni Hospitals. So today we are going to talk about the topic obesity. So basically when the word obesity comes around, we get tensed or we will be uh, afraid. So obesity is nothing but the, it is about the excessive uh, body fat that is seen in people. So obesity is, can also be seen in lean people. It's not only that people are fat or it's not only that uh, when they are overweight or something like that. It is also seen in uh, leaner people. But then that is not very much seen how we see it in the fat people. So on the occasion of this obesity day, I would like to give away some tips, some causes and what are the health risks and how you can avoid overeating or how you can uh, you know control your diet and all these things at present the prevalence is about 36.3 to 39 38.4 percent that is yeah, absolutely about the central obesity so central obesity is nothing but what uh, it is like you know what you see in your abdomen or the trunk part that thing is known as obesity so the trunk part is basically in this your abdomen area and normal obesity ranges about 11.8 to 16.3 percent uh, something like that so this uh, percentages are varying from year to year according to different surveys but then this is the average uh, percentage average percentage what we have seen so mainly in indians what we see is about central obesity primary causes of obesity can be uh, might be overeating lack of physical activity sometimes it is heredity sometimes the hormone problems sometimes it may be medicational issues or at times it is just because uh, you have nothing to do you tend to eat or sometimes it is lack of eating or lack of appetite or it can be sleep apnea some there are different reasons which cause to this obesity Okay, so taking a uh, consideration into a Indian plate, what we can do is like, so our plate it is round. So let us uh, think half quarter of it. We are giving it away for the protein. So protein can be either can be from animal or it can be from uh, plant based. And quarter of it we give away to the cereal. And half of the plate should be filled with fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. So fruits and vegetables are low in calories. But they have good nutritional sources uh, like including uh, you have good amount of protein, you have fiber, you have minerals, you have vitamins. So these all constitute to a healthier plate. So in Indian kitchen, uh, mostly we can go with deep fried foods. So we tend to have a lot of interest towards these uh, snack items or we tend to have towards deep fried foods which are made in oils. Like you can take bhajis, samosas, jalebis and too much of sugary foods like uh, we can go with the traditional sweets and all which are made out of sugar or which are made out of jaggery and a uh, few more foods like uh, too much of carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates, these all can be cut down from the Indian kitchen. Now uh, coming to snacking, snacking is of different types like we can take one of the type is complete junk snacking where whenever you feel hungry, basically you are not hungry, it is just that your body wants something to chew or it is your mindset. So that type of snacking will obviously affect your health. And if you are coming to your normal snacking like you had your uh, 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 lunch around at uh, 2 o'clock and now you are hungry at uh, 5.30 or so. That is your normal snacking time where your body needs energy so that time when you're having it it doesn't affect you if you're taking it in limited quantity or restricted quantities and if you're even more health conscious it depends on what you're taking and sometimes it is also like uh, you tend to over it because of stress so that is also a kind of snacking because when you're under a lot of pressure when you're a lot of stress you tend to eat more so that time what happens is ir irrespective of the quantity you take more and more of food so that will again affect your health uh, exercise is one more important thing so here when we come about maintaining a body type or maintaining weight or managing the obesity diet and exercise both go hand in hand so only with diet you can't lose weight only with exercise you can't lose weight so once you are having your diet you're not exercising so what here is happening is you have restricted your amount so you'll see little bit of uh, losing weight or little bit of you know you feel leaner you feel simple you feel better but you actually your weight is still the same but whereas if you only go with your physical activity so for suppose let's take example you're having about 3200 calories per day and you're exercising here only 1200 calories of your one hour or two hours your mostly you can do up to only 1000 calories so here you're having excess of 1500 to 1600 calories yet 
so both have to go hand in hand so what you're eating at least half of it should be burnt so that's how diet and exercise go hand in hand when you should consult a dietitian if you are really very much health conscious if you really want to manage your weight or if you want to be in that perfect uh, figure or structure whatever you want or you want to be a idol iconic person or you have any serious health issues where you really have to manage your weight and all or else uh, if you have any hormonal problems etc that is the time when you have to consult your dietitian or if at all you feel like no i have to uh, i have to become little health conscious i have to maintain thing that is the time when you can consult your dietitian a few of the tips what we can give i can give here is like so you don't need to go out you don't need to spend lots of money to do that so there are many super foods in indian kitchen which you all can use like you can, you have your jeera jeera is very good you can uh, lose weight you can clear your digestion problems and then we have eggs eggs are highly uh, rich in protein so without having uh, yolk if you are having it is very low in calorie and you can have a good amount of eggs only the egg whites and you have fruits and vegetables which are very good in fiber uh, vitamins and minerals all the ma- macro micronutrients you can get in these and then uh, you have few cereals whole cereals which are really good where you have good amount of fiber you have enough amount of carbohydrates and you have enough amount of protein and for proteins you have lentils the plant based lentils and all and animal based proteins are good you can go with more of chicken fish and you can go with flax seeds flax seeds are good in uh, fiber and they are antioxidant rich in antioxidants and you have barley there are different kinds of mini mini super foods which you can include into your diet and you can use them as your snacks when you're hungry when you want to feel or when you feel like munching when you feel you're little hungry what you can do is you can grab few of pumpkin seeds or you can grab a bunch of uh, like sesame seeds or you can go with flax seeds or you can go with oatmeal so these are few things which you can include into your diet and where you can regulate your ca- calories and you can also uh, keep your hunger in a restriction so you can go with salads you can go with vegetable salads or you can go with fruit salads so when you're hungry in the afternoon after your lunch about an hour or uh, two hours so what you can do is there you can just go with a uh, fruit salad you can go with vegetable salad or if you have a problem chopping with salads or out you can just grab a cucumber and you can have it directly or you can grab a whole fruit you can have it directly or you can have buttermilk with little bit of flax seeds or jeera powder if you want it to be little spicier and all you can mix one chili or you can add coriander to it and then you can make it a buttermilk or so called jhas lassi whatever however you like you can take it and what you can do is you can reduce little bit of sugary drinks and all like you know in tea coffee if you have add excess of sugar and all you can reduce it you can go with more water based teas like you can go for black tea you can go with black coffee you can go with green tea lemon tea chamomile tea lavender tea dandelion mint tea there are n number of teas available in the market today where you can go with it which will suppress your hunger and green tea is a very good antioxidant and it will help you uh, to regulate your body weight it will help you what will happen happens with green tea is like it will not allow to absorb fat so that is the reason green tea is also good for metabolic activities it will improve your metabolism and you can go with few protein shakes or and etc like you know you can make your own protein shake using steel cut oats and all so such things will help you to manage your weight and at the same time that will help you uh, keep fuller for longer times how often do you exercise is like for teenagers it should be a uh, one hour at least one hour per day and coming to the adult people so what you can do is like you can maximum make up to 2 and 1/2 hours or 3 uh, or 3 hours per week so it can be either like you work out for 5 days half an hour each or you either work out for 6 days 1 hour each 6 uh, days half an hour each at the same time and you will get a break of 1 uh, day but for teenagers it is better if you exercise and then you have your diet that would be better and it is suggested once you have enough of physical activity the food what you take will also act in the right way